I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like to Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, it will be my first sneak peek ever. So as you guys can see, the Canon Car 2v2 draft challenge. Um, from now on, I will be able to do sneak peeks on my channel as well. So I'm definitely really excited for that. But let's get into the challenge. So it's a Canon card, which will be an epic card, 5 elixir. It's uh, a riding cannon basically and it has a shield as well, like a, a guard or a dark prince. And when the shield breaks, it will actually um, yeah, pop it and then the cannon will just stand there being a cannon like usual and it can actually attack towers as well. And I will play with other challenges so some or other players, uh, YouTubers like for example Alvaro or Chief Pet or whatever. I'm not sure who's online. I did message them so sometimes it can take a while to get into the match but of course I will cut it out. But again, so the info, so it's a 2v2 draft challenge again so it will be random teammates. And it's, um, it's just random cards basically, you guys know the 2v2 draft challenge, but as you guys can see, so at uh, 3 wins you will get gold, I think that's, um, let's see, so at 5 wins you will get gold again, this is at 8 wins, so at 8 wins you will get 5 uh, epic cards, the cannon cards, at 10 wins you will get 10k gold, which is quite nice, and then at ten, uh, 12 wins you will get 10 cannon cards, so with epic, that's 15 epics in total. Uh, so it's it's quite a good uh, challenge in my opinion, uh, 15 epic cards, I think you should be able to get the 15 epic cards for sure. But let's see, I, I think I will cut uh, until I find the match, so then I will be back. Okay, looks like we're in a game right now with Wifsack, Rune and the Rumham, uh, all our YouTubers. So let's see, so as I said, it's a draft challenge, as you guys can see, so either Fireball or Zap, in this case I will pick Fireball, just because in my opinion uh, it offers offensive and defensive. Uh, let's see, so Fire Spirits or Arches, I will definitely pick Fire Spirits. I really like them in defense. Heal Spell or Lock, I will probably pick the Lock just because uh, I think it's better. I'm not sure, like, uh, looking at Drumham, his draft, I think Heal Spell will not be great. And so far, I didn't pick any cards which will be good with the Heal Spell. I think the Three Musketeers or, like, a Main Horde is only good with um, the Heal Spell. So let's give him thumbs up and uh, good luck. So as I said, like, the, the Cannon card will be a driving cannon i think uh i didn't get it maybe maybe rumham drafted it but it didn't seem like it but let's see so i will drop the witch towards the um, the lava hound i think i will fireball those arches just because our witch oh i actually do have the cannon card so as you guys can see i will have the cannon card that will be really nice to show uh one more card than i have in this cycle so it will be a five elixir card as i said so the right side we defend pretty well. Looks like the witch is actually doing really solid versus, and he has bomber as well. So well played by Rumham, and I think I will show the the cannon card right now in action. Back to oh wow, he actually had a really nice look. But there you go, there's the cannon card in action. It's actually pretty quick. So as you guys can see, it has a sort of a shield like a guard, and then when it dies, the cannon will get out, and then it will just stand there, and it can actually target towers as well. I think I said it before, but uh, searching was um, pretty long because you need three other players playing at the same time um, so that is why but I think they should uh, like help because I asked them to play three games uh, for this video so I think we should be able to find matches after pretty quick but that is why it took a while to take uh, to find this match but as I said by the way uh, I think I said it in the previous um, recording but something went wrong but I'm still in Spain by the way in Malaga so that is also why I have a different setup different background etc so that is um, so that you guys know that but let's see, I think I will go with the cannon card. I did place it into the executioner, but it's quite tanky. And look at the cannon card going. It's actually locked on the tower right now, dealing quite some damage. Look at the miner and the cannon card. So that is what I meant with the shield. Right now, it's still standing there. I think that's tower. Wow, the cannon card actually did uh, did work. I think I will fireball the wizard, maybe a bit too late. No, I did catch the wizard. So that was a good fireball, killing off the tower and the wizard. And I think I should lock this just because the tower is actually locked on the... the wow, they tried to heal that. Uh, still a good heal. I still think that the, yeah, the Hog Rider will still take down the tower. Rumham sees that, so he goes in the other lane. I'll drop a witch. There's their cannon card on defense this time. Uh, Rumham with the princess. I think they, they do have a lock, which is uh, quite good for them, of course. There's the lock, but the, he also dropped the Valkyrie in the middle, which is kind of a waste because right now the towers can kill it off. So a bit too late with the, the knight, so our bomber couldn't survive. But there you go, I think I will drop my own cannon card right now. Two miners going in, I think I will back it up with fire spirits. 
Uh, let's see if we can get something going. Rumham drops his Royal Giant in the middle. It should be able to clean up. Look at the Giant going down really quick towards uh, with our troops. The cannon card still doing work actually. Killing the Giant before. It actually did cross the river but it did a lot of work. And uh, let's see, R right now I just need to we just need to defend and then we should be able to finish it off. I'll actually send in a miner because there's only six seconds left. And uh, let's see if we are able to hold off. I think I will lock. Let's see if we are able to Ooh, wow 155. I think that's not enough. And I think they got it. Wow, they got it. They uh if I think I've, if I threw my fireball, wow, well played. Definitely well played by uh Ruin and Witsack. I think that's his second account or something. But let's let's search again. And that means two losses, so one more loss and we're out. But hopefully we're able to get some wins here right now. So there you go. Either um, the cannon card or the prince. This time I will definitely pick the cannon card of course. I think I will pick the hawk rider as well. Just because I like the, the hawk rider. It's a solid win condition. Electro wizard over the wizard. And I think I will pick graveyard. Because I see that the Romham has ice column. Which complements it quite well. He has a princess as well. Which might be able. If they have a lock or something. Which might be able to pay the lock. And I think so far our decks look good. He, he picked the Inferno, uh, which is really key. Inferno Tower versus Golem, which will be really good. And looks like we both have the cannon card. So uh, me and Romhan both have the cannon card for offense or defense. I would say it's a um, defensive card, but then after it's qu uh, quite a good counter card. So I think it will be interesting. Five Elixir may be a little bit expensive for the card, but I think it should be interesting, especially with the shield. I'm not sure how that will work with the lightnings etc on defense let's say it does have a really good like dps in defense and they have a lightning i think it could be interesting with the shield but we'll see of course once um yeah people will use it and try the meta decks or try to adjust meta uh with the card but let's try to start off with the goblin barrel i know that romham picked the princess so we should be able let's say they have a look we should be able to get a quite a good synergy but he drops his cannon card. It's actually really fast. It's funny to see the cannon, like a driving cannon. Uh, I don't have anything for it. Looks like he has um, a, a Dark Prince. But I was I was not forced to drop my Inferno Dragon. But I, I dropped my Inferno Dragon as well. Just to make sure we don't take too much damage. But the cannon card and the Electro Wizard on the left side is actually doing quite, uh, quite some work. Look at the damage over there. That's not quite in Rocket Range yet, but I'll drop my cannon cards towards the left lane to make sure we kill that wizard over there. The Dark Goblin did deal some damage, but we, were, we should be able to kill the wizard quite easy. And there you go, uh, cannon, cannon card for the, for the counter push. The Hawk Rider as well, they have a Mortar, Rumham goes into the other lane. I think I'll drop a Goblin Barrel, I haven't seen a lock from them. So letting the Royal Giant tank might be really good. They do have a Lumberjack over there, but the Goblins and the Royal Giant still are, uh, is able to do some quite some good damage. And we have the um, and we took down the left side tower. I'll drop an electro wizard right here. Romham has his ice golem and a dark prince. And looks like we're defending this quite well. He does have a lightning as well, so well played on lightning. It actually retar wow, really good lightning. It retargeted onto the miner. And wow, that's in lightning range right now. So we definitely I think it will definitely be a two tower situation. And uh, looks like they will yeah, they will definitely take it down. Romham tries to defend, but um we, we both don't have a lock, so it's really hard to defend a barrel if you don't have a lock. Uh, maybe if you have something like fire spirits, but the princess and the ice spirit is not the ideal counter So I think it's better to restart uh, Reset right now. I'll drop the cannon card towards the right lane and I have my inferno dragon for defense Let's say they give us rocket value. I could always rocket in defense, but let's go offensive right now So I was sitting in the hawk rider. Let's see what they drop. Looks like he will go for defense uh, Actually, I will I will drop the inferno dragon as soon as I can he drops his inferno tower I know that they have a golem, but they didn't play it yet. But let's see. I think I will just drop a golem barrel to uh, keep some pressure. I'll drop an ice spirit for the um, for the dart goblin over there. They do have fire spirits, which is really good versus the the, the goblin barrel. But we're still able to deal quite some nice damage to the the left the right side tower, and it's actually really intense right now, guys. I will try to focus on defense. Hopefully, uh, Rumham will be able to get a raw giant going or something. He actually, I think he will drop it. Oh, he, uh, he will zap. So good zap by him. Look at the Electro Wizard on the other lane. It actually does target the tower. And we have double cannon card right now in defense, which is actually really solid. He dropped the Royal Giant in the middle to tank. One Goblin is locked on the tower. One is locked on the Bennett. But the Royal Giant finished it off. And while that is a good game for sure. Five seconds left. I think, yeah, we will definitely be able to defend. So one win, one loss. I think one more loss and we're out. But at eight wins, you will get the cannon card. But let's see, so let's give him a thumbs up one more game and that will be the episode, that will be the sneak peek. So let, let's search again, hopefully we're able, oh we actually have to collect some gold first. 
And hopefully we're able to get a match. We, we, uh, we instantly have a match first as Cas Royale and with Sex. So let's again pick the cannon card. I really like the card actually with the shield. I think it's interesting. If it didn't have the shield, I think it would be... Um, it would not be bad of course, but just less effective. Just because, for example, versus Lightning, etc. I think it can be really interesting. They have the better round the mini P.E.K.K.A. I think I will pick the, the Arches just because the Musketeer is quite weak versus the mini P.E.K.K.A. So Ash has a quite quite a good uh, setup and looks like Casreal drops the Dark Prince, the Bowler uh, and he gave them a Rage and the Mirror. I actually um, gave Wissek the, the, the better ram and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. instead of the Ash or instead of Ash but he is on the right side. So that's why they actually have Mirror Goblin Barrel which might be good. And I'm not sure about that. They have Dart Goblin as well. So they have quite a good, like Whipsack has quite a good lock bait, I guess. And uh, looks like Casreal more like towards the beatdown deck with the Golem. So let's see what we can do. Let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck. And it should be interesting. We have a Sparky, the Cannon card, the Knight and Night Witch as opening card. So let's see what they drop and uh, I will react on that. So it looks like they will drop a Musketeer in the back. I will go with a Sparky into the same lane. And let's see if the Sparky can get some value. Let's see if they have something to reset the Sparky. Otherwise, I'll try to... I'll actually rocket the Inferno Dragon on that side, knowing that it's... Um, I invest to Elixir, but I do get 493 damage out of it, which is, in my opinion, really good. They actually... Oh, wow, he dropped a Golem into the Inferno Dragon, mirrored Inferno Dragon. And I think the Golem, yeah, he says, oops, he knows it's a mistake. I think the Inferno Dragon will get a lot of value. The Golem dies pretty easy over there. And I will have my Arches ready to counter his Inferno Dragon. But once it uh, near the tower, otherwise he might be able to fireball it or something. And we do need it for defense, of course. So let's actually drop a knight to tank and then a knight witch as well. Really good electro wizard by him. Um, countering the barrel quite easily. Looks like the inferno dragon will die. He drops his cannon card in defense. I would actually drop it a little bit to the side because it actually does have a range. And right now it um, hurts the, the shield. But I think the cannon card should be able to finish that off quite nice. Let's see if it actually kills the, um, the Ice Wizard or... Yeah, I think it will kill the Ice Wizard as well. It does have quite some health. So let's see. The cannon card versus the Ice Wizard. Yeah, it does kill it. So, oh no, almost killed but uh, one shot for the tower. So I guess that's a good trade. And I'm not sure if I have to rocket again. Just because last time he mirrored his Inferno Dragon. So maybe I need to save my rocket this time. Looks like they have a lock, so I will, I will get my uh, Spear Goblins to distract the Inferno Dragon. He drops his Wizard, and this time I will rocket the Mirror. Oh wow, I thought that it would be a little bit quicker. Maybe we hit it. Yeah, we do hit it. I will drop my Knight on this side just to uh, block the Barbarians. We did get a hit on the tower. They did get a hit on the tower, but we still blocked the, um, the Wizard quite, or the Barbarians quite nice. And looks like the Wizard is doing quite a good job at killing the Ice Wizard. Maybe one hit, let's see. No hit, but we can send in the Hawk Rider. Let's see if we can get some damage. We definitely need to, to get some damage right now. Uh, I'll drop my Night Witch. They, he has his um, his arrows as well. Electro Wizard on the Battle Ram. I will have my Spear Goblins over there. And let's see what we can do. We definitely need to defend right now. 700 HP. They come with a Balloon. Let's see if he has something. He does have the Princess. Let's see if that's enough. I think that's enough. Uh, he has Lightning as well. I think the Balloon will get a hit. And let's see. Well, right now, I think I need to distract with a knight. He will drop his uh, wizard, and I will send in a hawk rider. We need to get damage right now. I think I will rock at the, the dark goblin. He, he drops arrows, maybe a bit too much, but let's see. Let's see if the hawk rider, the hawk rider does get a hit, and let's see if they have anything to. Um, well, hopefully, he's able to defend this. I, I drop my spear goblins, and I. Wow, that's good game. 175 HP left. That's good game. Well played, and thumbs up. So, this is the cannon draft challenge. Unfortunately, I didn't unlock it yet because I'm at 6 wins right now, but let me check right now. It's almost 2 a.m. So you guys probably see that as well. I'm pretty tired, but I still wanted to record this sneak peek because I'm definitely excited to bring sneak peek for you guys right now. So again, this is the cannon card draft challenge. It will be in the game right now as well live, but there, there you had some uh, gameplay of the cannon, um, cannon card and just my opinion about it. I think it's a pretty cool card. It will definitely be interesting. As I said, it is 5 Elixir, which might be a little bit expensive, but overall, I think it's an interesting card. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys uh, enjoy videos while I'm here in Spain. If you have any suggestions for a video I could record while I'm here in Spain, definitely let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, please uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye!